Hello Internet, I am Simon and I really like Clip Studio Paint. So I want to show a really nice trick for the timeline that I was had a hard time figuring out myself, but here it is. So if I go into Clip Studio Paint, you can see down here in my timeline, I have all these, I have these uh, trolls swaying from side to side. And it's essentially just a loop for the um, for the like going to the right side, going to the left side, and then here there's kind of a split. The clip has been split, and then it comes again. So since this is like a whole song, and that's like the idle animation, I'll just like keep going with that forever and ever and ever while the music is playing until uh, like stuff happens actually so uh, when i started using uh, clip studio paint i didn't know how to do this i would i would sort of uh, relink all the pages all the um, layers every time but it's actually not that hard to do i just uh, need to find the right tutorial so maybe this one can be the right tutorial for someone out there uh, it's also possible on the ipad i'll show that in the end um so when you have a clip like like this let's say uh, let me just zoom in a little bit. Uh, say you want to you want to you want to access this clip and do all this like fancy stuff with it uh, on the on the on the PC and the Mac. You can just like highlight it like I just just did like highlight it like like so it turns blue. And the way you highlight it is like you cl click on the long like the top where you can also like move it around. And then you basically just highlight it and then you uh, then you right click. And here you can. You can choose choose like a cell from the from the from the folder over here, but you can also choose all these like really nice shortcuts. So you can you can do stuff like split clip. I do that a lot. So say I want to split it here between the going to the left and to the right. I'll just like hit split clip, and now it would it will of course um, it will take like the last used frames and it will like relink it into here. But I can just unlink that if I want to have like a clean split, and then. It won't come back until the. This is the mom, mom uh, troll, by the way. And it won't come back until the, um, to the next frame appears, next keyframe. So the way I would, uh, I would do like this uh, link, uh, this um, looping animation. I would just like, I would just like delete, delete this. Say I wanna, wanna just loop this, this short one. I'll just uh, hide the dead for a while. This is the mom. I only want her going to the right, and then like I want that to repeat. I'll just uh, I'll just copy it. Same thing. Right click, and then I'll just find the frame where I wanted to paste it, and I'll just paste it. Simple as that. So this is a major time saver, but it was just not very obvious. And uh, some of the tutorials are really good, but some didn't mention this, and some people I don't think know this. I I, I used this software for a long time, and I didn't know this. And when I found out, uh, it was just like a major time saver. Perfect. So um, so I want to share that. I might do actually more of these because this this has happened to me so many times in this software that I figure out something new that I have never seen before, and then just like completely makes my workflow so much faster. And this is why this is. Uh, I don't know. The documentation is somewhat Japanese in a way, and it's a little like a little. It's like it's a little it's a little uh, inaccessible at times. But here, here we go. So I can just like do this stuff. I can of course cut it. I can, uh, I can delete it. I can do like stuff. But this like split clip thing is definitely, definitely crazy for me. So let's just like fix what I did. Oh yeah. So let's show the same thing in the, um, on the iPad because uh, the iPad is a little more like slow, uh, smaller and Mac y and you need like a. You need like either a keyboard or a little trick, but I'll show you that in two seconds. Okay, so here we are on the iPad. Uh, I'm just opening up Clip Studio and making a new file. I just I didn't have this troll file here. I don't. I usually use my lap, my PC now. Um, so here's like a file, and I'll just quickly draw the boy, <laughs> because why not? Uh, so let's time lapse that. So give him some legs, otherwise it would be 
horrible actually. So I just wanted to do like a quick uh, eye blink for this just to keep it short and sweet. So I'll take this um, layer and move it into like the static, uh, not in the animation folder. But then uh, now I will make some quick eyes and uh, a blinking frame of animation here. So it's working. Very nice. Now it's looping because the whole timeline is only this long, like uh, 24 seconds. Very cool. But uh, now let's say I want to have a longer timeline and I just want to loop this uh, blinking animation just like before. So I want to just like expand the timeline to like two seconds or thereabouts. And then I will, um, I'll just like take the, take the static layer and the, and the background layer and expand those first. So Otherwise, I'll just like lose them when I go out of the time frame, obviously. And here uh, comes the problem. I don't have a keyboard. Actually, I do have a keyboard, but I didn't have a keyboard while doing this. So say I don't have a keyboard or you don't have one. Uh, it's nice to have a keyboard for a clip studio, especially on the iPad, since it's so small and there's like you can you can really be bogged down with menus. So it's very nice to like set up some serious shortcuts. But um, but if you just want to do this little trick, you just have to find this small button up in the left-hand corner. It's like a it's like a touch button, just next to the three uh, lines. And I just like make sure that's not enabled. It's like special touch features. I usually have it enabled actually, but for this, I will I would just like not enable it like there. I did it, and now I can press I think long press on the on the clip that I want to repeat. And then here we have the same menu again and I can copy. And then I would, I guess with my Apple Pencil, I go and find this frame and I paste it. And and then just like make it fit to the to the thing, to the active timeline and then or the active uh, frame count. And here we go, blinking animation, copy it. You can keep doing this. I think you would need the EX version for this stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't. I only have this this EX version, um, because uh, like apparently the Pro version. It's not the Pro. It's like the the low tier version. Somehow is um, somehow the low tier version is like only one second of animation. I, I'm not sure if you can use this for that. Um, you might. You might be able to. But then of course, if you only have one second, you won't be able to loop very long. But uh, yeah, definitely recommend Clip Studio Paint and uh, have fun animating or drawing, which is also a crazy nice program for doing. All right, bye-bye.